In this video, let us try to understand the working of path sensitization method. The main aim of this algorithm is to generate a test vector. So here, test vector can also be called as test case or stimulus. Means they are simply the test cases that we apply. Suppose if we consider a two input AND gate, it contains two inputs, so four combinations will be there, like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. We call them as test vectors. It is based on the fact that to detect a stack at fault, we need to induce a value opposite to that of a line which is suspected to be stuck at. Then propagate the error to one of the output line. If the output is different from the expected output in a fault free case, then we can say that fault is present. So there are three steps which are required to find test vectors through this method. So the first step is fault excitation, next one is fault propagation and the third step is backtracking. So you can't understand this particular concept if you see the theoretical part. So better let us take some random example and we shall perform these three steps and let us try to find the test vectors using path sensitization method. Let us consider some random example. So the question will be given like this. So here some random gates are there. So if you observe here, this is AND gate. And here there is a NOT gate. This one is NOR gate. Here this is OR and again and gate is there and here if you observe there is SA1 which is stuck at 1 so generally the meaning of stuck at 1 means that particular line will be stuck at 1 if it is stuck at 0 it will be 0 but here we have to do it in different manner suppose if here it is stuck at 1 we have to write as 0 of 1 Suppose if he gives us stuck at 0, then we have to write as 1 of 0. So here we have to do it in completely opposite manner. So read this point. So first step is fault excitation. Means if at any line signal is stuck at 1, indicate at that point with 0 of 1. So here if you observe this 1 which is present within the braces is faulty case and this 0 is non-faulty case. Similarly, suppose if a signal is stuck at 0, if it is stuck at 0, you have to write as 1 of 0 and the 0 which is present within the braces is faulty case and this one is non-faulty case means we have to write it completely different manner. Stuck at 0 means 1 of 0, stuck at 1 means 0 of 1. So this should be our first step in path sensitization method. So Fault excitation means if it is stuck at 1, write here as 0 of 1. This is our first step. So we are done with step number 1. Now the second step which we have to do is fault propagation. Fault propagation means this stuck at 1 should be propagated forward. Means from here, if you observe, this is the path through which it can propagate. Means first it will be given to i, then it will be given to j. So second step is to propagate the fault to next stage. This is our second step which is fault propagation means from that stuck at point we have to propagate it to the output side. For that you need to know some fault equivalence model. So here I have indicated the gates which are required to understand our particular example. So here this is an OR gate and this is our AND gate. So here suppose if a signal is stuck at 1 the same thing will be present at the output side also. If it is stuck at 1, write as 0 of 1 and the same thing will be at the output side also. But if you observe here, this is NOR gate. Suppose if input is stuck at 1, write as 0 of 1, but at the output side it is, it is completely opposite. Means if it is 0 of 1, you have to write as 1 of 0. Same thing is applicable for AND gate also. If it is stuck at 1, I am writing here as 0 of 1. And at the output side also it will be same. Whereas this is NAND gate. Here if an input signal is stuck at 0, write as 1 of 0. And if it is propagation means it is complement. If it is 1 of 0, write here as 0 of 1. So blindly remember if there is a bubble, it will be complement or else it will be in the normal format only. And these two points are very important. Stuck at 1 means you have to write as 0 of 1. Stuck at 0 means you have to write as 1 of 0. These two points you have to remember which are very important 
in order to solve this path sensitization method problems. So after second step, we will get this. So simply I am propagating the zero of one from this point to I. Again, this is an AND gate. Again, the stack at fault will be same. So again, zero of one will be the output. So I'm done with two steps, which is fault excitation. This is our fault excitation and I'm propagating it. That is these two. So I'm done with two steps. Now let us do third step. So third step is backtracking by checking the output values of gates. Try to apply inputs based on sensitized path. So let us try to understand what is this sensitized path. So we are done with fault excitation. We are done with fault propagation. Now what is meant by backtracking means by using this particular output, we have to find inputs. And again, suppose if you get the value for this i is equal to zero, we have to find the values for f and g. If you get the value of g, you have to get the value of c. And by using the value of f, we need to get values of a and b. Similarly here, if you get the value of h, we have to find the values of d and e. This is called as backtracking. Simply by seeing the output, we have to predict the inputs. So in order to do that backtracking clearly, I wrote the truth tables of all the gates which are required for our particular example. So here in our example, there is an AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate and NOT gate. So all these are truth tables. So clearly write the truth tables of each and every gate. Now let us start with this last AND gate. So here we got output as 0 and one of the input is 0. I don't know whether this particular thing is either 0 or 1. So how I will predict whether it is 1 or 0. Now check the truth table of AND gate. So if you observe here output is 0 for these three combinations means this line can be either 0 or 1 means if you take here as 0 this is 0 into 0 is 0 which is getting satisfied. Suppose if you take here as 1 0 into 1 is 0 again it is getting satisfied. Now I don't know based on what I have to give the priority. So now sensitized path comes into the picture. Now read this points clearly. The value at this point can be either 0 or 1 but it should follow the sensitized path that is faulty value. So take it as 1. So here if you observe I know the value of this is 0. But here within the braces I know that this is faulty value. So earlier I told you that this can be either 0 or 1. So here this 0 is fault free case. This is fault free whereas 1 is faulty. So that's the reason I'm giving preference to this faulty value. So that's the reason you have to take here as 1. So that's what I mentioned it here. So take it as 1 based on sensitized path. Now this becomes our sensitized path. So here this 1 is faulty. So here I got value as 1 which is h is equal to 1. Now by using this h is equal to 1 we need to predict the values of d and e. In order to do that let us check the truth table of this particular gate. So we know that this gate is nor gate and I am getting output as 1. So I am getting output as 1. So inputs are only one combination is available which is 0 and 0. So obviously d is 0, e is 0. So we are done with these two cases. Next. Now let us see at g part. So we know that g value is equal to 0 which is which is a value that we got from fault excitation case and this is the not gate. So if output is 0 obviously input will be 1. So I got the value of c also. Now we are left with one more gate which is this one which is or gate. Now let us see the value. Here I know that output is 0 and one of the input is 0. Now based on this we have to predict the value for f. This is OR gate. So in OR gate output is 0. In OR gate output is 0. So this is the only combination which we are getting. So one of the output is 0. So obviously f value will be 0. Now I got the value of f is equal to 0. Now by using that value of f is equal to 0 we have to predict the values for a and b. So let us see it based on the truth table. So AND gate, this is AND gate where output is 0. So for AND gate output is 0. So we are getting three different combinations. 
सो हियर ए एंड बी कैन बी आइदर ज़ीरो 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 वन और वन ज़ीरो सो दैट्स वॉट आई मैंशन इट हियर वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी ई सी ए एंड बी सो ए बी सी डी एंड ई आर कॉल्ड एज टेस्ट वैक्टर्स सो लेटर सी हाउ मेनी पॉजिबल कॉम्बिनेशन आर देर सो हियर ज़ीरो 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 वन वन ज़ीरो सो राइट हियर ज़ीरो 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 वन वन ज़ीरो सी कैन हैव ओनली वन वैल्यू सो राइट ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ सी एज वन एंड डी एंड ई वैल्यूज आर जीरोज सो राइट एज जीरोज सो वी आर गेटिंग थ्री टेस्ट वैक्टर दिस इज फर्स्ट वन दिस इज सेकेंड वन दिस इज थर्ड वन इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन राइट द वैल्यूज फॉर रिमेनिंग वेरिएबल्स ऑल्सो सो फ्रॉम ए टू ई वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एंड चेक द वैल्यूज ऑफ एफ जी एच आई जे एंड ट्राई टू फिल इट फ्रॉम द डाइग्राम वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एस जीरो सो फिल हियर एज जीरो एंड जी जीरो सो जी जीरो वी गॉट हेच एज वन सो राइट हेच एज वन आई वी गॉट एज जीरो सो ऑल दिस आर जीरो जे इज जीरो सो जे इज जीरो सो दिस आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ए बी सी डी एंड ई आर द final test vectors which we have to focus on this is up to you if you want to write for all the other variables also you can do it